Hi guys, it's Granny Tana speaking. Welcome to this FS23 tutorial video. In this video I'll show you all the trailers and appliances and tools and all the equipment that isn't able to drive by itself from FS23. Yeah, the vehicles I already showed you in a different video and now there are all the other equipment machines uh, in this video. And a quick reminder, in the last video uh, we already had some of those tools. So with the cotton technology we didn't have only the uh, cotton harvester but, but also two trailers to carry those uh, bales. The same with the grape technology and the olive egg technology. We had um, the mulcher and the um, subsoiler and the fertilizer spreader that are dedicated to grapes and olives. And yeah, and one thing I want to show you because it's so important for this game and therefore I show it to you twice. In the um, area of the pellet handling, here behind the forklift, we have this AgroLiner pellet loader. And if you want to play with productions or eggs uh, or chicken or um, sheep, you need this definitely. This is okay. You could carry each pellet with a forklift or a telehandler but only one at a time and therefore if you have more than one at a time you need this um, uh, this trailer and this is the only trailer that can carry pellets and therefore it's in the pellet handling area behind the forklift. I already know several people who have searched for it and said oh I don't have it. Okay, so now we have all this other stuff. There is still more at the right side, but we start with the trailers, the normal trailers. Okay, and like with the vehicles, I always only tell you the price and the most important aspect of each tool. With the trailers, this is the loading capacity and yeah, usually you can load nearly everything except grapes and if there is something special about this I tell you this special thing also. Okay, here we have the Velga trailer and it costs 11,500 bucks and it has a capacity of 8 cubic meters. And this is um, part of the starting equipment. Then we have the Krampe half pipe for 36,000 and the capacity is 12.1 me uh, cu cubic meter. And the Brandner power flex for 23,000 and the capacity is 18.5 cubic meter. And this is um, a dolly trailer like the Velga. But this, the next one, the Rudolf, is a tandem trailer, so no dolly trailer. And it costs 36,000 and it has a capacity of 24.5 cubic meters. And then we have an Agroliner MUK for 52,000 and the capacity is 37.5. And this is something for a um, truck and not for a tractor. The Load King Distinction Triple Hopper for 75,000 and the capacity is 51.8. And another one of those Load Kings, the Distinction Super B, and also for a truck and not a tractor 
it costs 138,500 bucks and the capacity is 75.6 cubic meters. And those are the trailers. Oh, and some of those uh, equipment tools may be um, only available as in-app uh, buying in the mobile version. So I have this, um, the Switch version, therefore I have all the vehicles and I can't see from here which are the ones that are only available on, on mobile as an in-app. Um, Some day later I will make a video on my Android tablet uh, and there I show you uh, which vehicles are only available for extra in-game, not, not in-game money, but real money. You have to pay real money to get them in-game. And those are mostly the biggest um, vehicles and equipment parts. So I don't know whether one of those is one of uh, the in-app, but the biggest uh, biggest tractors and the biggest combines for this you have to buy in in the mobile version so let's go on here we have the auger wagons and for experienced farming sim players they know what an auger wagon is but i suppose that a lot of viewers of my tutorials videos for FS23 don't know anything about uh, agriculture and farming and also not about virtual farming and therefore I say some words about all the categories what they do and so that you know what an auger wagon is for and Therefore, you don't only get the information that it costs 102,000 bucks, but also that auger wagons are used to carry the grain from the field to the truck that is waiting on the road beside. So, in farm sim, you don't need an auger wagon. Only if you like to play with one and therefore we have them, but in reality um, The auger wagons are rather important Especially when you have huge fields and there are trucks to carry the grain and the trucks don't want to drive on the on the fields and maybe they are even too heavy and they, I think there are several reasons for this. So they stand beside the field and the tractor with the ogre wagon is going to the combine, gets all the grain and then delivers it to the truck. Yeah, and this is the smallest one is from Harvey, costs 102,000. And you need a tractor with 350 horsepower to use it. And yeah, this is different to the self-propelled machines. When we have horsepower here, that doesn't mean that this auger wagon has 350 horsepower. It means it needs 350 horsepower. Okay, and it can carry um, 43 cubic meters. The next one from Bergmann uh, costs 137,500 bucks. It needs 300 horsepower and the capacity is 50.7. And then we have one uh, that you use with a truck. And it costs 114,000 and the capacity is 43.8 cubic meters. Okay, so next one, the headers. The headers are needed um, by the combines, the harvesters, and 
more or less every combine has uh, its own headers. In reality, every combine has several headers usually. And I heard that in FS23, in the um, version we have right now, so the first version, so to say, every harvester can use every header. So even with the small Deutzfa, we can use the biggest headers. In reality, that wouldn't work to have the old, rather small Deutzfa with a 13 meter wide um, header, but in FS23 it works. But I don't count on it that it will always work. Uh, maybe they will change it with an update or so. Okay, here we have the... Ah, and what I didn't say is those headers are used for all types of um, grain, like wheat, canola, oat, um, wheat, barley, oat, canola, <laughs> soybean and sorghum. You can't harvest uh, corn and sunflowers with it. And we have those later. Okay, this is the header from Deutzfa. It costs 35,500 and the working width is 6 meters. The next is from Case. It costs 48,000 and the working width is 7.5 meters. Then we have the header from Class. It is $70,000 uh, and the working width is 10.8 meters. And now we have a special header, Helianthus, from uh, the brand Capello. And this is a special header only for sunflowers. And when you use this for your sunflowers, um, it is f the harvest is faster than if you harvest the sunflowers with the um, uh, corn header, which is usually used. So if you want to be um, a sunflower farmer, then this is an interesting header for you. It costs 30,500 bucks and the working width is 5.7 meters. And there is a bigger one as well. It costs 104,000 and the working width is 12 meters. Yeah, and then we get to the normal headers again from John Deere, from the big John Deere combine. And it costs 111,500 bucks and the working width is 15.2 meters. This is huge. It is really huge. It's the biggest um, header that we have in this game and in FS22 as well. And as far as I know, this John Deere header and the combine that belongs to it and the class header that comes next with the class combine, they are all... Um, only available for in-app buying uh, in the mobile version. So I we don't ha we have it only on the Switch version in the base game. Sorry. So here is the class header, and it costs one hundred two thousand, and the working width is thirteen point eight. And that's that's it with the headers. And then we have the corn headers. And the corn headers are used for corn or maize, however you call it, and for sunflowers. But with for sunflowers it's slower than the dedicated sunflower header. We have the corn champion, it costs 19,000 and the working width is 3.4 meters for the smaller com combines or if you don't have so much money. The next one is from Case, 58,500 bucks and 6 meter working width. Then Capello again with the Diamond 12, 
It costs uh, 95,000 bucks and has 9 meter working width. And from class for um, 63,500 and 6 meter working width. And John Deere 127,000 um, bucks and tw 12 meter working width. So this is the biggest one. And I would think that this is only in for in app um, buyings. I don't know how to say this correctly in English, therefore I'm only struggling a little bit. But I think you know what I mean. This is not available in the base game for the mobile version. Okay, now we have the forage harvester headers and we have only one. We only have one forage harvester. This is the Fent Katana and only one header for this. And it costs 80,000 bucks and it has a working width of 6 meters. And usually it is used to cut the corn plants before they are harvest ready uh, and make chaff out of it and then make silage out of the chaff and and you can in FS23 you can sell the chaff at the biogas um, biogas PGA PGA Okay, yes, but if you so wish, you can also cut um, all kinds of grains like wheat and barley and so with it before it is ripe and then you get chaff as well, but much less than from the huge corn plants. So usually it's not sensible to uh, use the forage harvester on wheat, for example, because you don't get much out of it. It is much better to use it on corn, but you can do it. In reality, it is used when the weather uh, shows, and you can see from the weather forecast, the wheat will not become ripe. It will not be possible to harvest really good wheat for baking and therefore then they say okay then we cut it we make chaff out of it and then the animals can eat it okay so then we have the plows or let's say the plow one plow only um, it costs uh, 23,500 bucks and you need a tractor with 220 horsepower. But I used it with the John Deere tractor and it worked. And the working width is 3.5 meters. So about this, it works with the John Deere tractor. Maybe if you watch this after the first or second or whatsoever update, maybe they already changed it and it will not work again uh, still with the John Deere tractor that you already have this with 190 horsepower. Because with um, combines, it is like that, that the horsepower don't really matter for the working width of the header. And maybe this is the same with the tractors as well. So I heard from somebody we go, yeah, we can go to the subsoiler here and it needs a horse, 300 horsepower. Somebody told me the John Deere with 190 horse horsepower can work with this. And that means maybe that they forgot to implement this horsepower um, uh, limit and then maybe they will change it. So I can't promise you that the plow will always work with the old John Deere, the 4755. It's just now at the beginning of this game that, uh, that it works. 
Okay, what do you do with a plow or a subsoiler? Uh, when you start with the game, you get the message, um, this field has to be plowed. And then you have to plow it one time. Or you could use the subsoiler. This is more convenient somehow. It has a bigger working width, with 5 meters, and it's a little bit more expensive, 29,500, but the bigger working width is, makes it really interesting. And after this, when you have plowed the field once, usually you won't need to plow it again, because you only need to plow it again after you have harvested corn or potatoes or sugar beets. If you don't, then you it shouldn't be necessary to plow again. Yeah, and an advantage from plowing is with the plow, not with the subsoiler, I heard, uh, that there is no uh, no weeds in the field directly after plowing. So if you want to prevent um, from weeds with the plow, this shouldn't be the subsoiler then, but uh, really the plow. Come on here, this plow. Uh, then you should plow every time after every harvest. And then you don't need a herbicide sprayer. Okay, net, now let's have a look at the cultivators. And we have lots of them. Um, this small rabe is the first uh, cultivator we have. It costs 12,000 bucks. You need a tractor with 90 horsepower, which is totally fine with your uh, start equipment. And the working width is 2.5 meters, not so wide. And what is the use of cultivators? So cultivators prepare the field for the sawing. It is something like, um, you could maybe say plowing light. That is not correctly true, but I think for a non-professional it is somehow good for the imagination. It scratches a little bit on the on the soil and makes it all grainy somehow that it's easier to to put the the seeds into the the soil yeah and then the next one is the oh and you have to always cultivate after harvest except when you plowed after plowing you could uh, saw directly in reality, that wouldn't work. In reality, you would first plow, then cultivate, and then sow. But in the game, you can plow and then directly sow without cultivating. But usually, you always have to cultivate. Only with some special sowing machines, I will tell you later. Yeah, so let's come to the Amazon. Um, cultivator it costs 19,500 bucks you need 160 horsepower and it has four meters working width and then we have uh, the joker from the um, brand Horsch it costs 25,000 you need 140 horsepower and four meters working width and then we have from Lemken the Smaragd 9 it costs um, 24,500, you need 180 horsepower and it has a working width of 5 meters. And here is the Rebel Classic from Köckerling and it costs um, 45,000 and you need 180 horsepower and the working width is 6 meters. So it gets bigger and bigger. And another Köckerling, the Vector 800. And Köckerling is the way how to pronounce this enterprise. I guess it 
maybe is a German because it sounds very German and as a German word you would say Köckerling. It costs uh, 68,500, you need 320 horsepowers and it has 8 meter working width. And from Kinze we have the Machtil and it costs 72,500 bucks, you need 390 horsepowers and the working width is 8 meters. So as you can see you need more and more horsepowers the wider it becomes. Then from Lemken again, this is a German brand also and I guess Kinz also, um, the Lemken Coraline costs 87,500, you need uh, 320 horsepowers and it has 8.4 meters working width. And then from Farmet the Phantom, it costs 102,000 bucks, you need 520 horsepowers and the working width is 12.5 meters, so this is quite big. And the last one is from Case, the Speed Tiller, costs 112,500, you need 520 horsepowers and again 12.5 meters working width. Okay, so we really got quite a lot of cultivators. The next one are the cedars. And with the cedars you can saw all kinds of grain and uh, grass. So it is wheat and barley and oat and canola and soybeans and sorghum and oil radish which is a um, fertilizing crop that you grow in between the crop cycles and you don't harvest it but you just cultivate over it and then it uh, works as a fertilizer, the oil radish, and grass and then you can have a meadow on your field. And you can't sow corn and sunflowers and cotton and sugar beets with these kinds of cedars. We need different machines for that. Yeah, and here first we have the North Stand and this is part of the starting equipment. It costs 33,500 bucks. You need a tractor with 125 horsepowers and the working width is 3 meters. Then we have the cedar from Kuhn and it costs 50,000 bucks and you need 220 horsepowers and the working width is 4 meters. And then we have my favorite sewing machine. It's from Pöttinger, the Terrasem. And it has uh, some specialities, which I'd, I'll tell you. It costs 109,500. You need uh, 210 horsepowers and it has 6 meter working width. I work with it on my old John Deere 4755, even if it has less horsepower. I hope it will stay like that. And you can not only seed but fertilize in one go. And you can use it without cultivating because it's a cultivator as well. So it has three functions in one go. And that's why I love this uh, sewing machine so much. It's a little bit expensive for the beginning, but I think it's definitely worth it. Uh, you can sell the small cultivator and the small sewing machine and maybe you can even sell one tractor and then you have more than enough money to buy this sewing machine because you need one tractor less when you have this machine and it's so fast. So because the working width is double the size of the Nordsten, uh, the seeding is done really zip in an instance. 
and we have one that is a little bit bigger, the Veda Strat Rapid, and but it's much more expensive. It costs one hundred fifty nine thousand five hundred bucks. You need a tractor with two hundred forty horsepowers, and it has eight meter working width, but it doesn't fertilize. That is one thing, and I don't know for sure that it is a direct uh, seeder so that you don't need to cultivate but it looks like as if it is a direct seeder i haven't tried it in fs23 because it was too expensive for me but it looks like uh, as if you don't need a cultivator but i can't promise it and then we have the amazon seedern it costs 206,500. It needs 300 horsepowers and the working width is 15 meters, which is really awesome wide. And it does fertilize in one go. But as far as I know, this doesn't have the direct seed function. So you need to cultivate beforehand. Okay, the next are the planters. And the planters are the sewing machines for the slightly bigger corns, so to say. So for corn or mice and for sunflowers, for soybeans and for sugar beets and for cotton. And maybe you have seen the sugar beets can be sown with both types of cedars and planters. But this is the only one that overlaps. And I heard that one of those machines works as a cultivator as well, but I don't know which one. There is one planter with direct seed function. Yeah, but the first one is not the one. This is from Amazon and it costs... Um, 49,500 bucks. It needs 150 horsepowers and 4.5 meters working width. But it does fertilize. Yeah. And then we have the Lemkin that fertilizes as well. And it costs 63,500. You need 140 horsepowers, uh, 50. And the working width is 6 meters. Then we have the Quernerland for 89,500. You need 180 horsepowers and the working width is 9 meters. Yeah, and maybe this is the one with the direct seed, but only maybe. Then we have another one, the Kinsum. It costs 139,500. You need 300 horsepowers and it has 12 meters working width. And this one doesn't fertilize. Oh, let's check the Querneland. The Querneland is fertilizing. So the Kinsum, the biggest one, is the only planter that doesn't fertilize. Okay. Next one is the crop protection. So you protect your crops against wheat. And we have two hardy machines. And other than in FS22, those can't be used for fertilizing. It, those, they can only be used for herbicide. So this is a difference. Um, as far as I see is all the appliances only have one function, so to say. So you can either spray herbicide or with a different machine you can fertilize and there is no lime and such. And yeah, this is against the wheat and here the smaller one costs 39,500 bucks. And the working width is 24 meters. And the other one is even bigger. It costs 75,000. 
and the working width is 32 meters. Okay, then we have the fertilizer spreaders. Fertilizing is important. Um, usually you need to fertilize twice during f uh, one uh, growing cycle. And if you have a cedar or a planter that does already fertilize, you only have to fertilize one more time. But this is needed to get the best yield. And yeah, we have this Amazon fertilizer spreader, which I really love and recommend. It costs 25,000 and it has a working width of 42 meters. Yes, you heard correctly, 42 meters working width. It's enormous. It's half of the field. So from the small fields that we have at the beginning, you only have to go one time back and forth and then the field is done. And it's a lot of fun to work with it. And, and it's important to get a better yield. The alternative is the fertilizer spreader from Bredal. It is, it is much bigger and you pull it behind your, uh, your tractor. It costs 78,000 and you can put much more fertilizer into it. But the working width is only 24 meters. So nearly half the size of the smaller, cheaper one. Um, Maybe you ask yourself, why do they have this in the game when it's worse than the smaller one? Usually in the FS22, this um, spreader also spreads lime, but we don't have lime in FS23 and therefore it can't spray lime. And I think the brand Bredal wanted to be in the game and lot of people like this Bredals and therefore it is in the game. But I prefer the Amazon. It is easy, small and very large with the working width. Okay, next one is the manure spreader. So if you have pigs or cows, you get manure and then you can use the manure to fertilize your fields. And we have one manure spreader from Hage. It costs 58,000. You need a 150 horsepower tractor and the working width is 12 meters. And we have another one from Samson and it costs 149,500 bucks. You need 265 horsepowers and the working width is 24 meters and the capacity is 30 meters, uh, cubic meters, and the other is half the size, only 16 meters. So this is important uh, for this uh, sp manure spreader at, as well. The next one are the slurry tanks. So you don't only get manure, but also slurry from your cows and pigs. And with the slurry, you can fertilize your fields. But you can also sell it at the, um, I think you can sell it at the BGA. I haven't done it yet, but it should work. And what you can also do is you can buy digestate from the BGA and can use the digestate instead of slurry in those spreader machines. And this is a good idea if you love those uh, kinds of fertilizing with slurry or such and you don't own uh, cows or pigs, then you can go to the BJA, buy digestate and then bring out your stinky stuff to your fields and be happy with it. So here we have the Fliegel. It costs 95,000. Uh, you need 225 horsepowers. The capacity is 18 cu cubic meters and the working width 15 meters. 
The next one is the uh, Venhuis Premium Integral and it costs 145,000, you need 300 horsepower, the capacity is 20 cubic meters and the working width 6.2 meters. So be aware, the working width is less than with the Fliegel. Then the Garant Kotte for 293,500 bucks, you need 450 horsepower and the capacity is 32 cubic meters and the working width 30 meters. And that's it with the slurry tanks. And then we have the mowers and the Pöttinger Nova card is the only normal mower that you can buy in the game and it has a special uh, feature this is for behind the tractor and if you buy it and attach it to your tractor a front mower automatically appears in front of your tractor so this is a set of mowers that you buy and it costs 85,000 you need 220 horsepower and the working width is 9.2 meters. And then we have the big exception in this area of the um, machines. We have a self-propelled mower. This is only available on the Switch in the base game for the mobile games you have to buy it separately. And it's a Krone Big M. It's a self-propelled mower for farmers that are really into grass and mowing or for farmers who just are rich and like this big machine. It's a wonderful machine. It costs 380,000 bucks. It has 449 horsepowers and the working width is 10 meters. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun to work with it. Uh, but you don't need it. It's yeah for rich farmers who want something nice and special. And then we have the tedder. It's not tedders, <laughs> only one tedder from the brand Kuhn. And this is needed if you want to make hay out of the grass. So it is um, mixing up the grass, so to say, to um, prepare to be dried by the sun and in FS23 and FS22 you only need to uh, drive over the grass with this once to get hay. In reality you would do it several times and wait till the sun has dried um, the surface and then use it again and so it's a more complicated process but in for our virtual farming it is just simple you use it and drive over the grass that is already mowed this is important <laughs> and then you have hay it costs 16,000 bucks you need 40 uh, horsepower on your tractor and the working width is 8.7 8 meters yeah I think this machine is big enough and cheap enough for everything you want to do with hay. The next one are the windrowers. We have two of them. This uh, very tiny small one from Kuhn as well costs 8100 and it, you need uh, 35 horsepower and the working width is 4.7 meters. And up to now, I always thought, uh, why such a tiny wind rower? The wind rower makes the following. If you have the grass spread out from mowing or from the um, tedding to make hay out of it, it's distributed all over the, the field. And the wind rower makes um, a narrow swath out of it that it is easier to collect with a loading wagon or a baling machine and for this you need the wind rower and the working width of 4.7 meters is not big for a wind rower 
a usual loading wagon already has a 3 or 3.5 meters working width, so it can just drive over the grass. That's what I thought about this small windrower. But this windrower works from both sides. So first it puts everything from the left from uh, from the left to the right and then the other way round it collects from the other side and puts it on the same swath. So in in the reality you get quite some nice swaths and they have just the right size for the baling machines in FS23. So the first time when I bought it I said okay I try it with the small one but later I buy the bigger one and now I think I stay with the small one it does its job perfectly fine and the bigger one makes bigger thicker swaths and the baling machine can't get the whole swath and then you have to drive two times over the swath and you didn't uh, gain anything. But the Krone Windrower is a nice machine and it looks very funny with its rather big wheels. It's not a big windrower, they are much bigger out there, but it's a bigger one than the small Kuhn. It costs 41,000, needs 90 horsepowers and the working width is 9.7 meters. Okay, then the next is the forage wagon the only forage wagon. The forage wagon is a vehicle that you use to drive over this grass swath or the straw swath or whatsoever swath to collect everything this that is grass-like. You can use it for grass, hail, chaff, straw and silage. And this is one way how to get the grass from the field into a wagon. And the problem with this is, this is a huge one and this is the only one. It costs 131,000 and you need a tractor with 300 horsepowers. So it's expensive and you need an expensive tractor. And but the capacity is good, it's nearly 50, uh, 50 cubic meters, but this is nothing for the beginning. And usually in FS22, for example, you buy a tiny loading wagon at the beginning and you can collect your straw and then sell the straw to the animal dealer, for example, and make a little bit of extra money from the straw. And in FS23 you are too poor to buy this thing and to propel it because the tractor should be a big one or medium size at least. And therefore you have to leave the straw swath on the field and just dig it under for, for the next harvest cycle, which is a pity. So not only me wishes for a small low forage wagon uh, for the beginner gameplay. Okay, and the next one is the baling machines. Yeah, we have more than one baling machine, but only one type, so to say. Um, I guess you know what a bale is. This is something like a a squarish or round object with pressed straw or grass or whatsoever. And when it's wrapped it is silage inside. And to feed the cows for example or to sell it to the BGA. And we have only machines for square bales and no round bales in FS23. And those are rather expensive, the square baling machines. We have the case, it costs 159,500 bucks. You need 230 horsepowers, but I use it without any problems with my old John Deere, which may be subject to change, I hope not. 
Yeah, so this is working. If you want to go for silage, then you need uh, this baling machine or the other one, the Krone, for 155,000 and you need 245 horsepower, so everything a little bit more. And other than that, I think it's the same, the same speed and the same bales. It just looks at Krone and maybe that's the reason why it's more expensive. And then you have the um, bale trailer. I don't know how it's called in English, in English, to be honest. <laughs> uh, this is the a trailer to carry bales. You can carry 14 bales on it and it costs 90,000 bucks. So it's an expensive trailer so somehow, but it's the only way to carry your bales around. You get them with this machine from the fields and then you can either sell it directly or you can put it into your bale and pellet storage. And then we have the bale wrapper from Kuhn and yeah this costs 54,000 bucks and this is needed if you want to produce silage. So if you want to produce silage you make grass bales and then you use this um, bale wrapper to wrap them and then you have silage instantly without waiting. And this is, as I said, good for feeding the cows or to sell to the BGA. Okay, the next one is for animals. And we have the mixer wagon for animal food. And this works different than in FS22. Uh, the mixer wagon usually is used for mixing all kinds of ingredients for a very to get a very good mixed food for cows. And in FS22 there is not so much mixing. It is more um, make loose grass, hay or silage out of the bales. So you take this mixer wagon and drive close to some bales and then they load automatically four bales maximum into this mixer wagon and yeah you can feed the sheep with this you can't feed the sheep with the bales directly you need this mixer wagon to feed sheep this is totally different than in FS22 and you can feed them with grass or hay and the cows can be fed with grass, hay or silage but they produce most milk when they are fed with silage so best is you just give them silage. And then we have the straw blower from Anderson and it costs 37,000 bucks. You need 80 horsepowers and it uh, works with one bale, only straw bales. And this is used to bring the straw to the cow barn and to the pig's tea because they need straw and I think the horses as well. And so you drive beside the straw bale it takes the straw bale, then you drive to the uh, the barn which you want to bring the straw and then it spreads the straw into the barn. And here we have the milk trailer for tractors. It costs 25,000 bucks and you can carry 8,000 liters of milk only milk. There is no water in FS22 because all the barns have automatically automatic water. Um, yeah, and therefore we don't have water at all in the game. In FS20 there was water but not in FS23. And then we have another milk trailer for trucks. 
that costs 68,000 and you can carry 32,000 liters. Okay, oh, this is already very long, the video, but we are nearly done. And I thought it is important to tell you something about all the stuff and don't only read the numbers because if you don't know what is a cultivator for what do I need it then this is of no use for it and if you know all the stuff then you can speed the video up and get it faster but this is nearly too late <laughs> that maybe you already know that you can speed uh, my videos up because I talk rather slowly the animal transport. We have three vehicles. One for um, for horses, the small one here, and this one in the middle from Fliegel for other animals. It costs twenty five thousand bucks, and you can carry six cows or thirteen pigs or thirteen sheep. And I would recommend this only if you uh, have pigs, because the pigs you always buy them and sell them back to the animal dealer and earn your money with this. And then it's useful to have a trailer. But if you want to have sheep, for example, you only buy the sheep once and then you keep them and you will never bring them back to the animal dealer and the fee for transporting is much cheaper than the 25,000 that you have to pay for this transporter. So this is only useful for pigs or if you really love to drive your animals around then you can invest in this 25,000 to give you the fun of driving your animals around. And we have even a bigger one uh, to use with the truck and it costs 80,000 and you can have more animals in it. And then we have a low loader and you can use it for carrying a slow machines like the forest equipment or the forklift or so and you use it with a truck and it costs 28,500. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.